Oh yeah, uh, 94 days um, post-op. Um, I think it's probably been about three weeks since my last uh, vlog. Um, not a great deal changed. Uh, vision is, for the most part, single now. Um, but still with uh, difficulty around focus and sharp and sharpness. Um, if I can either be tired physically, um, just tired in the eyes, or maybe even neural fatigue, I can get uh, double vision uh, sometimes during the gym and certain exercises. So all of that's pushed me to um, go and get uh, an eye test and get a pair of glasses. Um, that might sound a bit bloody obvious, uh, and it should have been. Um, it was something which sprung to mind very early on that I might benefit from a uh, pair of gigs. Um, but I was thinking that my eyes are getting better all the time, so the pre prescription is going to change, and I just need a new pair of glasses. Well, yeah, so what? <laughs> um, I'm sure if I'd you know identified a little gizmo that would accelerate my recovery by uh, a number of weeks or maybe even months, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have bought three of them. You know, so uh, quite what the resistance was with buying a pair of glasses, knowing I need another one, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to get them today, and uh, I'm hoping I'm going to recognise a, a big change. If it's just that I don't get tiredness or frustration when um, working with documents, reading or or on the um, on the computer or mobile phone, then brilliant. That's enough. Um, I'm hoping that there'll be a carryover onto me uh, proprioception and um, movement quality in the uh, in the gym, which will then have its own knock-on effect um, onto all of the physical implications. Um, general movement-wise, I haven't really noticed anything big. Um, uh, still, with the Turkish get-up. Uh, Going from standing with the weight overhead, going into the reverse lunge is, is still difficult. Sometimes put it off, sometimes I have to drop to the knee, sometimes it's uh, a car crash. I'm doing it with 12 kilos at the minute. Um, scapular stabilization on the left has improved, but it's still suboptimal. Um, I'm snatching with 12 kgs as well, uh, although it, you know, I can I can sense that not all is is as clean as it's like on the on the left. Yeah, if I went up another weight, I wouldn't be able to stabilize at the um, with the velocity stroke force going up on the left hand side. With the right, sixty and a bit dull. Might even be able to push twenty. Um, kettlebell swings are with uh, twenty kg. They're they're pretty good. Um, I can do um, one full step on the monkey bars, i.e. starting off hands on the same bar, uh, then leading with the left, following up with the right, and vice versa. Uh, can't move on to a second one at the minute. Um, I've started running over the last uh, three weeks, as you would have picked up on the previous one from when I was away on the cruise, I'd actually ran a, um, a continuous mile. Um, I've, I've tried to um, pick up where I left off on that when I was just going out for running and walking sessions and as soon as the, the quality of breathing gets compromised I'll stop and walk and then go again. Um, well, I wasn't getting consist consistent stats on that one because I walk up to a parked area nearby um, and then do the run and walk and so I was doing the stopwatch so I'd get a measure of how much running I was doing uh, and I got up to an accumulative 15 minutes but the the metrics are skewed if I don't know you know how much distance was run and how long and how and what distance the walking was etc etc so what I've um, started doing which was the day before yesterday uh, was I would run at the point at which I stopped running uh, whilst I would walk I would walk um, you know just around over my previous route and so I would start running from the same spot again so I know how much running it takes me to go around the uh, the overall area which um, 
My guess is about a mile and a half. Uh, I suppose I can maybe measure that. Uh, let's have a quick look. 11.22 was my um, last amount of recorded running it took for that. So hopefully we'll start to see that coming down. What I'm seeing with the running, I'm feeling the um, the post hemorrhage uh, pre-op deficits so just down the left hand side. Um, and the extent to which I get out of breath isn't because I can't sustain the work rate. For instance, the same work rate I could easily sustain on a uh, on a rower for a, a longer period of time. Um, it's more so I'm having difficulty stabilizing with a clean pa movement pattern in the running. Uh, and so then what's happening to, as a immediate result is an attempt to, um, what would you call it, uh, get compensatory stabilization in the core. And you use your breathing muscles to do that. So if they're stabilizing, they can't be breathing. So I get out of breath very quickly. A little bit similar to um, when you've got a poor or a new swimmer, let's say doing breaststroke with the head out of the water, so they can breathe as much as they like, or the opportunity, uh, or the access to the air is there. Um, they're not working terribly hard, because it's difficult to work terribly hard when breaststroke, yet the, they get out of breath and start breathing out their ass very quickly, which is because you know the perceived stress uh, and and also the the lack of of quality with the the movement pattern means that the the core gets that compensatory stabilization again, and they can't use the breathers. So that that's what's happened to me when when I'm running, or so I think at least. Um, we'll see how quickly that comes down, um, and see how how quickly the glasses do or don't have an effect, even if it's just to reduce me. Uh, Frustration, but also make me look, maybe it's at all possible, far more intelligent, sophisticated.